So the world's number one long drive coach, Lee Cox, who has been my coach for many years, has revealed to me the fastest way to increase distance to your driver. So these three methods here, any one of you can do, and you're gonna hit the ball further straight away. So number one, this is one that I've done a lot with my own game with Lee over the years, and that is feeling like the left knee at the top of your swing is pointing behind the golf ball. So what this does, this gives you more hip turn. That left knee pointing behind there gets those hips coiling up. Because what we see so many golfers do, they'll be getting up to the top of the swing, and I did this exact same thing too, and have that left knee in such a static spot, and really almost trying to resist that knee, trying to keep it so it's either pointing at the ball or in front. Because when we do that, the downside is you are not getting any hip rotation. And if we're not getting any hip rotation, we're then at the mercy of how much upper body rotation we can get. And that is purely down to how flexible you are. And I know one thing, I'm not very flexible and I know most people out there aren't. So swinging in a way with that left knee pointing in front or at the golf ball is no good for us getting turned. Because we can get our left knee behind the golf ball looking a little bit more like Jack Nicholas here. You're gonna get more hip rotation, as we said, but more hip rotation gives you more shoulder rotation also. That's why you never really have to rotate with your shoulders. You can do it all with your hips, that left knee going behind the ball. That's gonna get that hip turn. That's gonna give you more total shoulder rotation, and that's gonna give you way more distance from having a better coil up. The more coil up we get, the more speed we're gonna be able to produce. So left knee behind the ball is gonna really help ramp up that speed. So. If you're a senior golfer and you need that extra little bit of help, do again what Jack Nicholas does, and that is lifting up that left heel. That will then free up that hip turn more and make it so you can turn just like you used to do years ago. Unanchors that hip turn and gives you more freedom, more range of motion. So number two, and that is utilizing a better sequencing in the downswing. So in the more simple terms here, having your body being more dominant. So where so many golfers run into the mistake of wanting to swing faster to hit the ball further, getting really quick with the arms in transition, which will massively throw you out of sequence. Because if the arms quickly go first from the top, that's gonna get the arms in front of the body in the sequencing. You're not gonna be able to use your body, which is the main thing that produces a ton of force. The power is created from those big muscles that propel themselves through the arms. But you have to have the lower body and mid torso turn first. It's so incredibly important. You will not see a long hitter not do this. You will see them all have that lower body, mid torso work first, and then the arms and chest really just go along for the ride. And then all that power goes through, through the kinetic chain, through the arms, going through the shot. So you're not trying to go with the arms, you're trying to do it with the body where the power comes through the arms. So let's let those arms be quieter from the top and really get that lower body mid torso working. We'll hit this one and we'll get into a drill. That's really good to get this into your swing. So the drill for this is with either a long towel that I've taped up here. You can use a rope. You could use a resistance band, for example. And what we do, we get this towel and we put it on our back just like this. And then as we turn up to the top of our backswing, just grip it like a golf club, we want to keep this towel on our back for as long as possible as we move down. And we want this towel to then fling off the back as we get through kind of an impact, looking a little bit like this. So you can see there, it's flinging off my back as I get through impact. For me to do that, my body has to naturally unwind better. So this is where we're all gonna have different amounts of separation that we can do with our lower body mid torso. Especially for the seniors out there, you're not gonna be able to do that separation move a ton, but you can still move in good sequencing. It doesn't mean you can only swing with your arms in a downswing. Even if it's just a little bit of separation, that can go a long way. It's just, you know, still the guys out on the senior tour can still swing in this way, or even good senior golfers can really still swing in this way. It doesn't have to be a ton. Just a little bit goes a long way. So get this flinging off your back, going through the golf ball area, and that'll be brilliant. Because if you use too much arms, what's gonna happen? it's gonna hit the ground straight away. So I won't wanna do that too much today because it's very wet on my mat and it'll get me soaking wet, but too much arms on the top, it will hit the ground. So you want it flinging off your back, going through the ball area. And that's gonna give you that really good sequencing. So guys, a brand new course is now live on my skill list and that is 
fixing your early extension masterclass. And in this course, absolutely everything you need to know about how to fix early extension and everything you need to know about early extension and what causes it. So we get into the root causes, everything that causes that problem and in depth. And then we get into exactly what to do to fix each one of those root causes with the optimized practice structure. And with all my students you see, let's say from my YouTube videos here, where I do videos on how they fix their early extension, those crazy big gains they make in a very short space of time, it's the same practice structure I've used with every single one of those students that have achieved massive success in fixing this problem fast. Early extension is only a big issue in the golf swing if you don't know how to tackle it. When you know how to tackle it, it is very straightforward and I give you all the tools to be able to fix it in no time in this course. So there's a link in the description that takes you straight to my Skillist page, so the website of Skillist. And if you scroll down, you'll see online courses. It will be right there. Brand new course, absolutely brilliant. There's tons of info in there. It's absolutely going to be the most comprehensive guide to fix your early extension that you've ever seen online. So number three, this works with every single person on the planet, and that is overspeed training. So overspeed training, essentially what it does, it increases your cruising speed on the golf course. Let's say a 75% effort swing on the golf course, doing overspeed swing training, you will then bump up that distance of that same effort. So if your 75% swing on the golf course goes 230 yards, doing a bunch of training with this will make that 75% effort swing go 250 yards, for example. So that's where not putting any more effort, but gaining more speed. Because essentially what we're doing here with overspeed training, we are swinging with an overspeed device. So I've got the ripstick here, and there's loads of other brands also out there, where we're swinging it, oh, where we're staying in balance, but as fast, <laughs> as we can. So as fast as we can, it's really still staying in balance. And there's loads of protocols out there for each different brand. So the Ripstick is my favorite because it gives that audible kind of result here, which tells you where you're producing your speed. So they're all coming really different weights here with the Ripstick. You can remove some of the weights that are here in the head. And again, on the website, like all the other overspeed training devices, there are routines to do to go through. So once you go through this, you are training, you are increasing your swing speed from doing it because we all have a governor of swing speed. So it's like if you start off with 95 miles an hour with driver, you will swing 95 or round about there on every single shot. This increases that base. This go then, let's say after a couple months of training with it, this will get you more to around 100 miles an hour like we said at the beginning with the same effort. So you're not trying to swing harder with the golf ball, you're just trying to swing with this as fast as you can and do it with a routine. You do it three times a week and it is by far the most effective way for any swing out there to increase your club head speed. All the top tour players have been doing this. They've been doing this for a good few years. The one who really gained a lot of distance since doing it and he was an early adopter of it was Phil Mickelson. He gained quite a considerable amount of yardage that any real swing change was just by doing swing speed training. Matthew Fitzpatrick has also done this to gain a lot of distance. When he won the US Open, that was, you saw him beforehand with his own speed stick that he had, doing a ton of it before he was going to teeing off. Because he's not the longest of hitter, but now he certainly is. So after doing a lot of that, you'll really start to feel it, really adhering to the routine. There's a link in the description if you want a rip stick as well down in the video description. So that'll be a good discount code on there. And then you really apply that same feel to the golf ball. Brilliant. I can as well attest to that. I've been doing overspeed training for a long, long time. As I said, my coach Lee Cox has had access to these training aids before they properly came out and I managed to get access to them also. So they have helped me a ton to gain club head speed been really awesome. I highly recommend anyone who's serious on gaining speed, you have to have one of these. Absolutely have to, and you have to commit to it. Really have to, it's like a routine. You do three days a week, you have to continue to do it for months and months and months. So, absolutely guys, this, these are the three main ways to, let's say the fastest out there to gain distance quickly. These are it, you aren't gonna find a way that will get you hitting the ball further by increasing your club head speed quicker than these. So, if you enjoyed the video, click that like button if you want more golf instruction just like this. Hit the subscribe button and hit that bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video.